Welcome back to the NetTouch video quick tips. In this one, we will continue with WordPress. This is actually a request that came from Twitter on how to use custom fields in WordPress. Luckily, it's super simple, so we'll take a look at that right now. I'm going to go back, and as I did in the last tip, we're going to be working with just the base theme. And all we want to do is just add a custom field, assuming maybe each of these is like on NetTouch where each of them has a difficulty level. We want to be able to assign easy, intermediate, difficult, or hard uh, to each post so that the readers know. Uh, this is one use of a custom field. Some people use it for thumbnails, although there's actually an easier way to use thumbnails now with the recent releases of WordPress. But you can use a, think of using custom fields anytime you need to attach additional information to a post. So I'm going to go into the WordPress panel and I'm just going to open up uh, any of these and I'm going to attach some information. Uh, this custom field, the name or the key, can be anything we want. So I'm going to give it a key of difficulty and we'll say just for example this one is hard. Update that. And now if we refresh the page, you're not going to see anything because we need to find a way to get that information out. So this is the index.php for that base theme that comes with WordPress. Don't worry about this. Don't even concern yourself with it. But do note that each title, if I go back, each of these titles right here are wrapped within an h3 tag. And you can see here it has an anchor tag linking to the permalink and the title. Pretty simple. But now, we're not going to focus on the design very much, but we will extend it a bit. I'm going to put this in small tags, and this is just going to display uh, the difficulty. So the way we can work with custom fields in WordPress is a function called get underscore post underscore meta. But of course, we should be in PHP, right? Get post meta. Now, this is going to accept two required parameters and three, the third one being optional. The first one it wants to know is what is the ID of the post uh, to get the information from. We can access that through post ID. The second one is the key. Uh, key is just simply the name of the custom field. We called it difficulty and I'm going to make sure I wrap that within quotes. If you named yours, maybe you're doing a thumbnail to attach an image a path to an image or something like that, you would just change that to thumbnail or whatever you called it when you attached that custom field in the WordPress admin panel. And the third one, now this is optional, and it wants to know whether to return the data as a string or as an array. So I'm going to set true, and this is a Boolean, so I'm gonna set true because I do want it returned as a string. And now finally, all I wanna do is echo this out. Okay, so this is going to go into the post meta information. It's going to find the ID of this specific post. It's going to get the difficulty uh, custom field and it's going to echo whatever that value is out. So if I go back and refresh the page, sure enough, it's been set to hard, but there's one problem. If I go into view source now, and I'm just gonna search for hard, you can see, okay, it's been added there, but let's go to the next one. And you see it added small tags, but nothing was attached to that specific post. So it's just empty and we don't need that, especially uh, maybe if we're in a situation where it can mess with your layout if nothing's there. So what we should do is find out, is there anything attached to this post before we just blatantly echo it out? So above it, before the small tag, why don't we do that? And we'll say, copy all of that out right there. And we'll say if get post meta, and I can leave this off because we're not going to actually retrieve it. So if this, then display the small tag and if. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything at all. So come back and I will, let's add one more to the next link, my new other post, custom field, difficulty, easy. And remember, you can do this for anything. You can do this for thumbnails, any kind of information that you need to attach. And so now it says hard, easy. But if I go back and I view the source again, hard, easy. But now if I go to the next one, nothing's displaying at all because first we check to see if anything was there in the first place. And that's really all there is to it using the get post meta WordPress function. So let me know if you have any questions. As always, visit net.touchplus.com for the best articles and video tutorials available on the web. Thanks.